These are some things I've learned by collaborating with over a hundred different Twitch streamers to help me grow from zero social following to where I am today on Twitch and all of my other platforms. We'll talk about collaborating at different levels of your streaming career, and I'll give specific examples of groups, platforms, and messages that I've used to help me get collaborations on Twitch with streamers of all sizes. This includes partnered streamers and also big YouTubers who have like six figure subscriber counts. So stay tuned till the end if you wanna see how we did that. What is collaborating in terms of Twitch streaming? Collaboration is the act of working with someone to produce or create something, in this case, to produce content together. Collaboration is awesome because it's a great way to make new friends. It's a cool way to make content better than the content you'd make by yourself. It just makes everything more fun and more interactive and more social, more diverse, more dynamic. What you guys will notice about our channel is a lot of our channel is focused on collaborative content. You know, we do things like tournaments, game shows. I mean, for those of you who are regulars, we do challenges against other streamers. We host things where we invite other streamers to play with us. We literally just did Among Us with a bunch of other streamers, the Halloween party, Valorant tournament, the Among Us tournament, Super Auto Pets. We've done Twitch Jeopardy, Terraria and Minecraft. Gaming is tends to be more fun with other people. And the other benefit is it can help expose you to more people that may support your social adventure, your social content creation journey, and can help you build a larger community as a streamer, helps you incorporate yourselves with other networks of other people and things, and it's overall mutually beneficial for everyone involved, or at least that's ideally how it should be. And collaboration is a big part in a way you can you can grow your social presence is, is doing things with other creators. Now, collaboration might seem like a daunting task, especially if you're new to the streaming journey. Collaboration may be intimidating, you might be a little shy, but I'm going to give you some of the tools and resources that are going to help you feel a little more comfortable doing those things. I'm gonna give you some real examples. I'm gonna I'm gonna walk you through this and I'm gonna show you how I do this whenever I try to reach out to a new streamer or try to do something with streamers I'm already friends with, et cetera, et cetera. I can confirm, says Turtle, I've made new friends from collaborating with Nick. Yay, see, thanks Turtle, I appreciate that. One of the great benefits of doing this is I always have a pool of people who I can reach out to, who if I'm looking for people to play games with, I know I can rely on them to be around, or I can rely on some of them to come by and to play stuff together. So once you've built this network of friends and then you, you do more things with them, you can also make friends through them and you have fun together. And that's really the, the ultimate thing I want to stress in this is collaboration isn't something artificial and real relationships have to be authentic with people. People. This isn't something you can just fake. This isn't something that's going to be easy. This isn't something that you're going to be able to do overnight. This isn't something that's going to take no work to do. This is something that's going to take a lot of hard work and dedication and perseverance and technique and love and genuine authentic friendship to actually make it work properly. So let's start off with level zero. Level zero, and we're gonna go into different levels based on where you are in your streaming career. Level zero is if you're a brand new streamer. You're just started streaming, you have no viewers, you might have no following on any social platform, but you wanna get into streaming. My ultimate recommendation, if you are a brand new streamer looking to collaborate with other people, don't do it. Just save yourself the time and don't do it. <laughs> okay, let me let me explain. If you have friends you already know who are streamers that you that you already play games with even before you started streaming, that's great. You should continue and you should play games with them, make friends with them, do things with them. Or people you already know, people you may know from real life or other people you've already played games with or people you already have good relationships with. But if you don't have any online friends, any online presence, I would honestly recommend there's other more important things you should focus on if you ha are someone with zero viewers who is brand new to streaming. You should be focusing on making better content, building your other social platforms, how you can be a better personality on the camera, there are much more important things you should focus on first than collaborations. So when you're a, what I will call a level zero streamer, doesn't mean you're not a good streamer, just means you're just starting off, you should focus on things outside of collaborations unless there's people you already have relationships with that you wanna play games with. So that's what I would recommend. But not to cut you short, I actually have a separate video, which I'll make up here on the screen somewhere, related to how to start off on Twitch, how to grow from zero viewers, that I will redirect you to. Collaborating, I think, is going to be a lot more valuable and a lot more worth the time you put in if you start doing it once you get closer to maybe the affiliate level, once you're maybe averaging around a few viewers on your stream. You started building a bit of a community and you've started growing yourself as a streamer and you have more to offer. We'll get into that a little more in a second. It's just gonna be a lot harder to find people who are interested in collaborating with someone who doesn't have any viewership or community or anything. A, sometimes it looks like you're just clout chasing or reaching out to people to just like get a quick start at streaming and it seems less authentic. Two, even if you are authentic, 
authentic and genuine. It just shows that you haven't developed the core emphasis of, I think, what streaming is, which is making good content. I think if you're someone who is just starting and streaming to basically no one at the beginning, you shouldn't be focused on how you can do things with other people. You should be focused on how you can make your own stuff better first, and you should focus on growing your other social platforms. I think growing your other social platforms is going to be much more important than worrying on any sort of collaboration type content right off the bat. It's kind of like if you want to be in a relationship with someone, but you haven't worked on yourself before you wanted to be in a relationship. You're not going to be prepared to foster a healthy relationship with another individual until you have a good relationship with yourself. You want to focus on your craft first, what value you can offer, because one of the things in a collaboration that is value that you're offering is you're also offering exposure to you and your community to that person. So people are more interested in working with the other people who have at least some base community for, for to share with others. I'm just giving you the harsh, honest truth. It's going to be much, much harder, which is why I say the return on investment for doing collaborations is not really worth it until you have a little bit more traction, particularly on Twitch. That's my two cents. You're welcome to agree or disagree. This also goes into what resume do you have you can offer other people. Like if I go to collaborate with someone and I have only streamed three times on my channel and they go to look at the stuff I've done, they're going to be like, dude, this, this person literally just started streaming like a week ago. They're not serious about this yet. They haven't put in the time and the work. They're not super familiar with like even how to stream. Why would you want to stream with them? Or even regardless of their viewership. Again, if you have people you already know, it's cool to collaborate with them if they're your friends because they're going to want to collaborate with you. But don't go reaching out to new people until you have a solid framework of who you are, how you identify as a streamer, what type of content you like to make, what types of games you want to play, etc. Let's keep moving. And this is what I'll call level one streaming. And this is where collaboration efforts really start to heat up and start to get good because you can start doing more fun things. So once you've started streaming, you've done the basics, you've sort of identified what kind of games you like to play, you've made some friends, you started building a community. Let's say you just hit Twitch affiliate. Hitting Twitch affiliate, that's a great time around to start collaborating with other streamers, I would say. Now you might be asking Nick, where do I find these other streamers? How do I find people to collaborate with? I don't have any online friends. Where can I make friends with people? How do I play games with people? All right, here we go. The easiest thing that you should, that you can look for is trying to find collaborations with people who want to do collaborations, not cold reaching out to people who you just think are cool, who you want to play games with. A more specific example of what you can do, I'm gonna actually show you, is using social platforms to find groups of people who are interested in doing collaborations. Discord is an amazing resource for that. There are lots of servers of streamers who are actively looking to find other people to play games with. One example of a server I like is the Stream Scheme Discord server. The Stream Scheme Discord server has a specific channel, literally, for collaborating called stream collaborations. In this channel, you have hundreds, literally, I'm not even kidding. Just today, there have been like a bunch of messages in this channel. This channel is very active. Even in the past few weeks, there, are, there have been dozens of people looking uh, for streamer collaborations like, hey, I just started a Minecraft server. I'm looking to collaborate. Hey, any other people play Among Us, Fall Guys, like whatever. This is a great resource to go to find other people who are looking for collaborations. And a lot of these people are, who are super cool and open to if you DM them or whatever, yada, yada. This is just one example of a server. There's lots of other ones uh, you could choose from. That's just an example of one server. Uh, you can look for people who play similar games as you and respond in that in those types of channels or you can DM them and say, hey, I'd love to play this game with you. It's it's honestly that simple and I'm not even kidding you. If you see someone who's in there, you can DM them and a lot of times you'll get responses from people and I have DM'd a few people who have said they're looking to play certain games and have, and have played games with people in there and it's a great and easy way to make friends with other people who are actively also looking to make friends. And there's lots of any, any other channel that you go to on YouTube that is like a streamer help channel or is a channel that a lot of streamers watch. Usually those Discord servers have a space that you can use to get collab, to do collaborations with other streamers. Speaking of which, oh, I don't have a channel like that, but we should probably make one. I'm gonna make one too, you know what? All that makes me nervous. Okay, so let's give another example. If you're uncomfortable DMing people specifically about collaborations in one of those channels, you can also put a post in those channels for something that you want to put together that you'd love for other people to participate in. Let's give some examples of this. By the way, I made a whole PowerPoint with a whole 
bunch of DMs that I've sent of real messages that I have used in actual channels. I have a, a ton of actual DMs I'm going to get to and show you guys here. We're going to start off simple because we're in this level one. These are examples of real messages I posted in that stream scheme discord channel looking for people to collaborate with. Playing Among Us tonight on the new map. If anyone wants to join, shoot me a DM. Super simple. If anyone plays Minecraft Bed Wars, we have a legit tournament coming up this weekend. DM me for details. There are a few spots left. I got responses from people for a lot of these. Here's a couple more examples. Hi streamers, we're hosting a Super Auto Pets tournament this weekend. Feel free to send a DM if you want to participate. Yo, yo, we're doing a chess tournament later today, which includes a bunch of streamers. Feel free to DM me if interested, as we have a few spots left. Short, simple, to the point. It tells you, hey, I'm doing this on this day and time. Let me know if you want to participate. That's it. Super low pressure, super casual. You don't, don't copy and paste my messages. Do this in your own language. But if you're looking for someone to play a certain game with, message in there, and there's a good chance people might reach out to you. If they don't, try some other servers. You can do the same message in multiple different servers. Do not send these messages in like the general chat of someone's Discord. Only send this if they have a specific channel meant for streamer collaboration. So Discord is just one platform that you can do this on. You can also find other Facebook groups that are available. I still am in a Facebook group meant for streamers. There's like, if you go on Facebook and just Google like streamer groups, there are groups with like thousands of streamers looking to play games with other people. And I recommend joining some of those. There's usually people looking to host lobbies and play games with other streamers. And you could probably make some friends in those Facebook groups. Also, make sure you're active on Twitter. Sometimes you can find a tweet from someone where they're hosting something and anyone can participate in it. I actually recently found a public Valorant tournament that a streamer was hosting and I signed up. It's going to be in a few months. I'm going to try to see if I can participate in it. I literally was just scrolling through Twitter, saw someone retweeted it and just signed up. It was like, hey, I'm going to participate. It sounds like really fun. I'd love to um to be in that with you. And I think I've actually collaborated with through Facebook for Among Us and all sorts of other games like that. So that's super cool. Another kind of example that will happen occasionally, it's which is a little bit rare, but sometimes when you raid someone or get raided, you maybe sometimes hit it off with the person who either raided you or that you raided and you wind up connecting. And I've actually made friends, well, good friends with people who either I rated or rated me and we hit it off right away. And we decided to plan some collaborations together. Let me give you some more examples. So just to show you in that first method, Discord, some responses I've gotten from people when I reached out about collaborations, just like I did here. These are just some examples I've gotten of things that I've gotten in response, just low key, just like to make you feel more comfortable about, about posting these types of things. You'll get DMs that just say like stuff like this. What time would Among Us be? This is when I asked when I posted on Among Us lobby from LJ's channel. Also, what time zone unless you have a full group like people just are want, are interested, like they just want to play. Another message I got was just was asking about um, Among Us also. Hey, when are you playing Among Us, Nick Daru? Hi, I assume you're asking about blah, blah, blah. We're starting at seven and then I give them like a link to their discord, whatever. The other person, here we go. I posted about a Mario Kart tournament. Hey, I might be interested for Mario Kart tomorrow. What time, how long and will there be rules? And I actually missed this person's message when I got it, but I did reply with, I'm sorry, I missed your message. I didn't see it in time. However, I pivoted into, hey, what other kind of games do you play? We have some other things coming up, happy to get you in. And then the conversation continued from there. So even if it doesn't work out the way you initially want it to, sometimes you can still be like, maybe this thing didn't work out with this person, but. I will try to see if we can do something else together. And then these conversations kind of grow and then you start a chain of messages with someone and eventually you find a time to collaborate. I've actually had messages that have gone on back and forth for months before actually collaborating with streamers. Sometimes I'll like reach out to someone who to collaborate and then we just like chat for a while and just talk about things and we don't actually wind up doing anything, but we just build a comp, we just build some rapport and build a conversation. Then many months later, we finally coordinate a time to do something together and it works out really well. So. It doesn't always happen right away, but it can happen. You can just make friends with someone or you can play a game offline with them, whatever, whatever. Just about making friends and, and reaching out and trying to be open and meet new people. Ultimately, at the end of the day, most people don't want to do this. This isn't something that most people want to do, but it's important if you are really, you know, you really want to put the work in, you really want this, you really want it to happen. You will put the work in to do these types of things and reach out to people in this type of way. Those are the people who will succeed, the people who are willing to put the work in and do these kinds of things. Here's some more examples. Then there's also people who I've reached out to from other mechanisms that I've followed up with and and messaged about. This is an example of a message I sent to someone after I collaborated with a group of people and met people. So this could be a situation where either someone invited me to collaborate with them and I met a bunch of people that I liked, or I invited a friend to collaborate with me and they brought some of their friends to play with me. And then I wanted to reach out with their friends afterwards to say, hey, I had a fun time and would love to do something with you in the future. Hey, wanted to extend a personal thank you for competing in yesterday's Pog Legends event. So this is someone who competed in one of my events who I knew was a streamer. I think everyone had a lot of fun, myself included, was generous of you to rate our stream. This person even rated us afterwards. I left a follow on your Twitch, took a peek at your VOD. 
blah, blah, blah. I left like a funny joke. Would love to collaborate or play games together at some point in the future. If you're interested, always love making new friends. This message I sent over two years ago, and I still talk to this person to this day. I actually did wind up collaborating with this person. Another example, this was someone who I raided who was super, super nice. We connected after the raid. I stayed in their chat and hung out for a little bit as I usually try to do with people who have seemed cool after we raid them. I found them just on the either my recommended feed. Or I might've been recommended this person by someone who was in our chat at the time. Raided them. They were really talkative, friendly. They said, hey, they were playing a game that I thought was, I think they were playing Among Us and I thought that was cool. I was like, hey, I also play Among Us. And then we, we talked for a little bit while they're on the stream and they were like, yeah, I'd love to play with you sometime. And then they actually, I think this person DM'd me first. You can see Heyo, and I said, hey, great stream tonight. I'll reach out to you sometime this week about some stream collab stuff we're doing and some yada, yada, yada other stuff because they had asked me a whole bunch of questions about my stream and everything like that. And this whole conversation happened just because I raided them. And if we didn't raid that person, this never would have happened. But this is a great way to let someone know that you're a streamer without going into their chat and saying, hey, I am streamer. Let's do collab together. <laughs> do not do that. Do not do that. Raiding is a really great way you can support support another streamer while also sharing your community and also letting just letting them know that you are a streamer as well. And that's another reason why it's cool to have a few people as part of your community before you try to like set up things with people. So when you raid people, you raid with a few people and they're like, oh, like this is so nice of this person to bring everyone from their stream over, you know, you guys get the idea. Third example, this was a collaboration I had that one of my friends brought one of their friends with them to the event. I reached out to his friend afterwards, said, hey, thanks for gaming with us last. And a few others have also asked about Among Us because they asked about Among Us. I'm going to add it to the calendar and we'll let you know when I have a date. I also said, if you're if you're ever doing any things with groups, let me know. Maybe I'll be able to hop in and join. Easy peasy, casual, concise to the point, low risk, friendly, genuine, authentic, boom. So those are some examples of ways you can, at, an, at a low level, do some collaborating when you're kind of just starting out. Looking at those Discord groups, Facebook groups, posts on Twitter, doing raids when you're doing collaborations you should look for people with similar interests to you people who play similar games or have similar overall vibes if you're a minecraft streamer you may find it harder to collaborate with someone who is a valorant streamer right if someone plays open world games versus someone who plays strategy or roguelike games even if both of you are let's say just chatting streamers maybe someone is more of a cozy chill vibey type of streamer another person is a very hype high energy, ecstatic streamer. It may be that just their personalities don't mesh well together. So you wanna think about, is this gonna be someone who you can have a good conversation with? Do you have similar interests? Do you play similar things? That's all, just consider that type of thing. Use common sense. Another thing to consider is when you are asking for a collab with someone, but usually you wanna go in with a specific thing you want to do with that person. So a great example of a collaborative type of game is Among Us, maybe hosting an Among Us lobby and then inviting people to play in it is a good idea of a collab. Uh, shooter games are good to collaborate in because games like Valorant or Modern Warfare or anything like that, Overwatch, you can play with multiple people on a team. So those are good ones to collaborate with. Any sort of party game, MMO, lots of Nintendo games are good for collaborations. Minecraft, Terraria, Pico Park, any game that's multiplayer is a solid collaboration option. And if you know someone plays one of those games, you can recommend playing one of those games. If you're a just chatting streamer, there are other opportunities for collaborations that you can do in those types of categories. You could host a game show and invite people to play with you. You could do trivia on stream, maybe make a tier list with another streamer. You could talk about a trending topic. You could have a debate. You could do all sorts of things. Be creative, use your, use your brain, be imaginative. Think of something that you could host that you could invite someone else to participate in. And that could be what you, what you tell them about when you're reaching out to collaborate with them. All right, I should also let you know at this level in your streaming journey, when you reach out to people who are actively looking for collaborations, especially in a lot of those groups, you're gonna have a high success rate. You're gonna be talking directly with people who want to collaborate who are interested in working with you. So your success rate should be high. You should not be encouraged if someone ghosts you or doesn't respond to you, but you will probably get a lot of people who will be interested. And sometimes there may be conflicts. Sometimes you may not be in the same time zone or you may not be able to agree upon a game or there might be some, or someone isn't good at communicating or responding. And sometimes that happens. But a lot of time, I think you'll see success by doing these types of methods to get collaborations with people. That's the bare basics. So we've talked about level one collaboration, which is when you're new to collabs, maybe you're a Twitch affiliate size, you're trying to find streamers who are already interested in collaborating and how to find those streamers and how to reach out to them. Now we're gonna get into level two collaboration, which maybe you've grown a little bit in size, you're getting better at collaborating and you wanna start reaching out to people 
who aren't actively looking for collaborations, but is someone that you've found or that you watch, that you like watching, who's around a similar size as you, maybe a, small, a slight bit smaller or bigger, who you want to collaborate with, you think you make good content with them, you play maybe similar games or have similar vibes, and you like to interact with these people. Now, first of all, how do you even find these people who are of similar size as you, who you maybe want to interact with? Of course, you can use all the ones we already talked about, Discord groups, Facebook groups, Twitter posts, raids, etc., etc. but you can also find streamers around your size through a variety of other mechanisms. The Twitch recommended feed gives you a lot of streamers who play the games and make the type of content that you like to watch. And oftentimes it actually features smaller streamers. I would recommend taking advantage of this and taking a peek at what your recommended streamers are every once in a while and seeing if you find someone who's really cool. I followed a bunch of people who appeared on my recommended streams and later DM'd them after watching them for a little while or seeing them and inquired about doing something together. You can also find lots of streamers on your TikTok for you page, Winky Face. Speaking of which, if you are not using this platform, you should be. You should 100% be on TikTok. I have a separate video specifically dedicated to TikTok that I'll also plug if you're watching this on YouTube that you should 100% check out if you're interested in utilizing that platform to help you grow on Twitch. TikTok, especially if you're scrolling through, a lot of times you'll see streamers on your recommended and you should follow them and see what kinds of videos they're making and go follow them on Twitch. And that's a good way to find new streamers. A lot of people post their, their clips onto TikTok. I do the same thing. Another good way is Discord. Once you've made some friends through some basic collaborations. Maybe you've joined some of their Discord. Maybe you've had some people join your Discord. Look for other people within those Discords who are streamers. You can reference the self-promotion channel. You could reference just conversations people are having. Maybe someone at some point mentioned they're a streamer. You should be on the lookout for other people in those servers who are streamers and check out their channel and see if they're cool. Go on Hover. Hover is another great platform for connecting streamers. Hover is kind of like TikTok, but focused specifically on Twitch, Twitch clips, Twitch streamers, connecting with each other, meeting new people, making new friends. I recommend checking out Hover. You know, it's got a smaller user base than some of the other major social platforms, but it is one that you should definitely consider checking out and posting content on. And then finally, another one I'd recommend again is Twitter. Twitter is kind of like the LinkedIn of streaming. It's a great way to network with other people, discover new creators. You can always browse very large creators posts and find smaller ones who are interacting with them often. There's lots of ways you can find streamers on Twitter. There could be an entire segment about this, but yeah, use Twitter, follow streamers and look at comp people's comments, participate in conversations. You'll find lots of other streamers through all these mechanisms, TikTok, Discord, Hover, Twitter. You could go on Facebook. You can go on any social platform to find people. And now once you've found maybe several dozen people who you think are really cool that you like, who are like, wow, I'd love to at one point collaborate with this person. That'd be so totally radical. They're really cool or really fun. They're a similar size to me. They like to play the similar games that I play. We'd be a good fit. Do not immediately go into like their DMs and start messaging them right away, or at least I wouldn't recommend that. What I would recommend, first of all, make sure you follow them on Twitch and any other social where you see them interacting a lot. Watch some of their stuff, hang out in their chat and become a blimp on their radar, just like a person who they recognize. Interact with other people, maybe in their Discord or hang out like authentically and like actually chat with them. In, on some of their socials. If you happen to be live and you finish a live stream and they happen to be live, consider rating them. That's a great way to show your support to their content and also, you know, let them know that you also stream and a great way to build a good connection with that person. Definitely do that. That's awesome. Rating other people's, you should be rating people after every single stream, just saying. And then once you've built some sort of connection with someone, then you can go and start asking some them to do something with them, if that makes sense. So you're not necessarily like cold calling someone anymore. Now you're someone who they recognize. Maybe they know your name. Now you want to do something together in conjunction. Now you can go into their Discord DMs or Twitter DMs or whatever DMs you want to do. Instagram, if they're active on that platform. I usually use Discord. I think it's just the best for this type of stuff. And you can invite them to do something together. Now, different from the previous category, we talked about level one collaborations. We talked about people who are interested in collaborating already. People who have also reached out to try and find other people to collaborate in. People who you already know are interested. These people people may not just genuinely be interested in collaborating regardless of who you are or whatever, that, that's not always the case. So at this level, be prepared to be shut down more often. This will happen sometimes. This happens to me all the time and you can't take it personally. It's like if you're talking with a girl or a guy in real life, you're going, you're at a bar and you're flirting with like a girl or a guy and they reject you. That's just statistically going to happen a ton of the time. There's nothing you can do about it. Doesn't matter how good looking you are, how good you are in your social skills. That will just sometimes 
sometimes happen and you just have to brush it off and be okay with that. You can't be mad at them or be upset that they turned you down. That just will happen. So if you do that with one person and they say no, or they're not interested or they ghost you, just move on. It's not a big deal. It's okay. You may, it may feel like you've wasted a bunch of time. You haven't because if you genuinely wanted to be friends with that person, you genuinely made an authentic relationship with that person, it won't have been a waste of time even if they don't want to collaborate with you. It's not a big deal. It's not the end of the world if someone doesn't want to do it. You have to respect that person if they say they don't want to do something with you. To help increase your percent chance of success when you are messaging people, again, that's one of the reasons why you want them to know who you are before you message them. Also figure out what way you can bring value to that person in the collaboration that you're doing. One way you can bring value is by having a solid viewership base. If you collaborate with someone, who's a similar size than as you, you're going to give exposure to each other via your audience and that will provide value to them. If no one watches you, it may not be as enticing for that person to collaborate with you. I'm not being mean to people who don't get viewers, I'm just being honest and just giving you the hard, honest truth. Maybe you can bring value to them in some other way. Maybe you have a high production quality stream. Maybe you're hosting an event where there's prizes involved. Maybe you're giving them exposure to other high to other big streamers or to other streamers who they can connect with. Maybe you're doing a big collaboration where they have the opportunity to connect. Like, what is the value in what you're proposing that would entice that person to want to collaborate with you. Another thing you can show them is your collaboration resume. So if you already have done collaborations with other other streamers, maybe you've put some videos on YouTube of those, you can plug those as examples of things you've done with people. So they see that the collabs you've done are high quality and then they would want to do something with you. Let's give you guys some examples of some reaching out to streamers that I've done. And a lot of these I've done after already trying to build relationships with these people. Now we're getting into intermediate territory. You are now reaching out to streamers who you don't necessarily know want to collaborate, but you think you could do a good collaboration with them and you want to reach out to them. So before you send any DMs to the streamer, you've already established that you've interacted with them at some point. Maybe they know you're a streamer. Maybe they don't. Maybe you've been in their Discord, you've chatted with them. Maybe you've been in their Twitch chat a bunch of times. Maybe yada, yada, this, yada, yada, that. As long as you're on the radar, maybe you've responded to some of their tweets or retweeted some of their stuff. So they kind of just know what who your name is. That's what I'd recommend. I recommend building that type of relationship with someone at a bare basic before reaching out. Here are some basic messages I've sent once I built a basic relationship with some people to do a collaboration. These are all related to game shows, by the way. You see, I put a little note in the bottom. These are people who I have never collaborated with before, who I either met through a friend, or I met or or I watched their stream a lot or I have hung out in their chat a bunch or I'm in their discord yada 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 who they're on they've been on my radar for a while I like them and I'm inviting them to participate in something specific a high quality piece of content that I have planned and that I want them to participate in hi wanted to give you an official invite to our channel's first ever Pog Legends Spelling Bee game show. It will be a streamer collaboration held on this time, this date. The show will be streamed on our channel. You will have three days to accept if you're interested. Otherwise, maybe we can get you involved in a future event. This person, I think I may have already had a string of messages with prior, so I might have been a little more direct and to the point with this one. I think this was actually part of a chain I already had with someone, but this is like a traditional invite that I would give to someone. Let me give another example. Yo, yo okay, this was the first message I sent to someone. Yo, yo, X. XYZ person. Great stream earlier, dude. Wanted to let you know I'm putting together a Pokemon themed Wheel of Fortune this month and would be honored if you were interested in participating. So I told them exactly what the event is. And I told them I'd love to have them. Then I'm telling them what the value is. This would be a really cool opportunity to meet and hang out with some other streamers and to win some gifted subs for your channel. Ooh, all right, maybe they're hooked. Maybe they're like, oh, I can meet other streamers and also win things. That sounds fun. Let me know if you have interest. I'm trying to lock in participants this week. This is a great introduction message you can send to someone if you if you have a cool event you want them to participate. Here is, here's another example. Hey, yo, I believe this is XYZ, the legendary this. I'm just like making a joke. I enjoyed watching a bit of your stream today. So I'm letting them know I've seen their content. I know what they do. I'm letting them know that I've seen their stuff. By the way, I host game shows on my channel and wanted to offer you a spot in one of the upcoming ones if you're interested. It would be great to have you on sometime as you are a cool personality and I think you would have a fun time. Anyways, have a great night, man. Super low pressure, super genuine, casual, no strings attached. They don't want to do it. And by the way, most of the time when I ask people about 
big game shows like this, they're super into it. If they're not, sometimes I get ghosted, but it is what it is. But usually I get positive feedback either way, or maybe if it doesn't work for them, they'll let me know and I'll keep them in mind for the future. Hey, by the way, this was in the middle of a conversation I was having with someone. I host game shows on my channel every once in a while. I would love to get you on one if you're interested. I think this might've been a follow-up from after I rated someone. And then this might've been, we might've talked back and forth a couple times and then I might've given this as a follow-up. These are just very basic, basic examples of some interactions I've had with people. These are all real messages that I've copied from Discord. You can see the dates and these are all real people who I've actually gotten to be in some of our game shows. These are some other collaborations I've asked for people. Hey, I'm hosting Among Us on Friday, 11, 11, 7 p.m. Eastern if you're interested. In this one, I'm not even suggesting that I'm a streamer. This is just genuinely me saying, hey, I'm hosting a lobby on this day and time. Would love to have you if you wanted to play. And this might just be a random message I sent to someone. Maybe I knew they liked Among Us. Maybe I knew they were an Among Us streamer and they were like, yeah, I'd love to play. And then we played together and we became friends. Yo, yo, we're doing a Pog Legends Among Us tournament Sunday, the state. I think we have one spot left and wanted to invite you. This person who I mentioned, who you also know will be playing in it as well. Let me know if you're interested since I'm trying to finalize the list this week. And they accepted and they played in the event with us. Here's another just funny message I sent to someone um, after I either rated them or they rated me. They were a Terraria streamer. We had a raid. We might have had an exchange where we were friendly in DMs. And then I was like, hey, do you want to do Terraria together on Tuesday 7? 12th. And I actually think we wound up not doing it, but we did wind up doing other things later on. Yo, yo, gonna DM the creator of Bomb Party to see if he wants to do some sort of collaboration. Would you want to host a Bomb Party tournament with me if I pitched the idea to him? Here's another one. Yo, dog, you're around Tuesday. I'm setting up chest, hand, and brain with some other streamers. I'm looking for one more. No worries either way. Let's do something together sometime. Uh, let's do something together sometime if you're interested. So even if you don't want to do this particular thing, let's do something in the future. Hey, not sure why I didn't mention this till now, but I'm hosting a tournament, blah, blah, blah. Would love to invite you if you're interested. A bunch of other streamers are also participating. Should be a lot of fun. I posted the picture of the tournament and you could mention there's like prizes, yada, yada, whatever, to try and entice someone to be interested. Oh, this was actually um, someone I whispered on Twitch after being recommended to them by another streamer. They reached out to me and just said, hey man, I'm doing all right. I, I saw your whisper on Twitch and I'd love to work with you in the future because I, I whispered them on Twitch. I couldn't find their Discord. They followed up with me on Discord. So I said, sweet, I love to plan events with other streamers and do fun stuff together for this scenario. I'd be happy to get you in one of our game shows, blah, blah, blah. Another example. This was a cold message I sent to a streamer who knew me from the their Twitch chat because I would hang out in their Twitch chat occasionally. They knew who I was. They didn't know I was, I don't even think they knew I was a streamer. This was someone who was a little bit bigger than me, who I wanted to try and get to play in a Mario Kart tournament with us, who did participate in a Mario Kart tournament with us. Hey, what's up, dude? Wanted to see if you'd be interested in a fun upcoming streamer event. Okay, that sounds cool. I've been doing monthly special events on stream that have gotten really positive feedback from our community. The last couple were things like Twitch Jeopardy and our Pog Legends tournament. So I'm giving examples of things I've done that are high value streams that I've done in the past. I was thinking for the next one, maybe doing a streamer Mario Kart tournament and wanted to see if you'd be interested in participating. I would of course set up all the logistics, do a lot of the promo work. All you need to do is show up and have fun. This is key. I want to make it seem like I'm going to do all the work for this. You don't have to do anything. You're just going to show up. You're going to have a good time, meet some people and have fun. X, Y, Z, other people are also interested who you know, which I know you do stuff with, could be fun. I also have a few other streamers between my friends who are interested. Let me know what you think. Either way, even if it doesn't work out, even if you're busy or whatever, you don't want to collab with me, that's fine. Hopefully we can collab on something in the future. This is a great message right here. This message has it all in it. If you want to send something to someone new who you don't know, like this is a great example. Oh God, I just ripped my headphones out. Introduction. I have this really fun event I'm planning. This is when it's going to be. This is what it's going to be like. I'll do all the work for it. I would love if you just wanted to show up and have fun with some other streamers. This person you know is also going to be in it. I have a few other people playing it as well. Let me know what you think. It's going to be super awesome. Would love to have you. If not, no worries. I do lots of other things. Would love to have you in something in the future. That's it. And if they don't respond to you, which will happen sometimes, no big deal is what it is. <laughs> I have even more for you. This is all just proof to show you guys I've done a lot of collaborations and done a lot. This isn't even close to all the messages I've sent to people. This is just some examples. I just took a lot of pictures for you guys because I wanted to give you guys a lot of examples of different ways you can ask for and different situations because these are all different situations that I've messaged people. Sometimes it's, it's someone who I've already known or worked with before. Sometimes it's someone new. Here's another cold message I sent to someone who I've probably been in their chat or maybe I met them through another friend or I was there on disc or I like, I don't know, whatever. Hi, XYZ person. Really been enjoying your content on Twitch, especially the Pokemon challenges you've been doing. Wanted to let you know I'm also a streamer. I host lots of cool events on my channel. In October, we're having a streamer game show. I actually listed all the events we're doing in October uh, because this person, I didn't know what they'd be interested in doing, so I wanted to give them some options. Would absolutely love to get you involved in a future event. If you're interested, you can check out my channel. This is important too. I, I plugged my channel, not to self-promo, but to say you can check out my channel at twitch.tv side slash Nick to make sure I'm not some scrub. So I tried 
tried to give like a resume almost to be like, hey, here's my channel. You can check out my VODs to make sure like I'm not some weirdo dude. You know, I'm not someone who doesn't know what they're doing. I've done a lot of cool content before. And then again, I ended off with either way, no hard feelings, keep up the great work. So I'm supporting you no matter what. If you don't want to do this with me, that's totally fine, which it is. It's not a big deal if they don't want to. But I think based on what I've seen from your content, we would do really well together if you wanted to collaborate on the on any of these things. So that's it. Finally, just an example of a non a non Discord DM. This was a DM I sent to someone on Twitter. Hey, great stream tonight. This is someone who I'd been watching for a little while who actually rated me and I had rated them once or twice. Great stream tonight. Wanted to pitch an idea to you. We do a lot of special things on our channel, blah, blah, blah. We're, I want to host a Pokemon Showdown tournament. I usually try to co-commentate these with other streamers. Would love to invite you to host the event with me if you were interested. Anyone in your community could, of course, participate as well. And I think it'd be a fun opportunity to get everyone together to compete for some cool prizes. Let me know what you think. Easy peasy. Not that hard. Most of those, I think almost, I think every single one of those I got a response to. If you send a genuine message, if you've built a connection with someone beforehand and you're confident and you give the key information and you're flexible and authentic and nice, then people are usually receptive. And even if they don't want to do something with you, they'll, they'll at least let you know let you know why. And now we're getting into level three collaborations, which is how to collaborate with streamers who are bigger than you. This is going to be the most challenging thing you're going to do as a streamer in relationship to collaborations. It is possible. It's very challenging. I'm going to warn you that this is really going to test your wit and your prowess. It's also going to sometimes be disappointing or challenging because your success rate doing this is going to be very, very low. To be brutally honest with you, most streamers who are much, much larger than you just aren't going to want to collaborate with you. And I'd recommend if you do eventually decide to reach out to bigger creators that you shouldn't be disappointed or heartbroken or torn apart if they don't want to do something with you or if they ghost you. I wouldn't recommend doing until you have experience collaborating with a lot of people that are around your size and you've gotten better at doing things with other streamers. You can try to do it whenever you want to, but it's probably not going to be worth your time. It's not worth my time to go reaching out to like, you know, freaking Mizkiff to see if he wants to be on my game show. You see what I'm saying? Like it's just not, you have to think about what's realistic based on where you are at your career. Maybe you're someone who averages five viewers and you're trying to collaborate with someone who averages 10 viewers. This is just an arbitrary example. You know, that's realistic to try to, to try to do and that can happen. That's totally realistic. Now, if you're someone who averages five viewers and trying to, to collaborate with someone who averages 500 viewers, that's going to be a lot more challenging to pull off. It's not impossible, but it's not as realistic and it's, and you got to think about what is really worth your time for reaching out. So how to collaborate with streamers bigger than you. First of all, I would try to be on the lookout for things that those larger streamers set up where you have the opportunity to do something with them. For example, maybe a big streamer hosts a public Among Us and you can participate in that Among Us event with them. I've actually seen Twitch partners who have done Among Us lobbies and I participated in their lobbies with them and got to hang out with them. I didn't even tell them that I was like a streamer or anything. I just went into their lobbies to try to make friends with people and to hang out with them. There are streamers who will host like game shows that anyone can participate in or competitions that you can participate in or stuff that anyone can be a part of. I've done things with lots of creators that have hosted things. For example, I can even give some specific creator examples. I participated in Hayden. Hayden is a partner streamer. I participated in his Among Us lobby. I participated in Capri Sun Poppy's uh, streamer trivia game show. I've even participated in streamer interviews that Code Miko did with small streamers. And I actually have a clip on my TikTok of something I did with of a clip from me and Code Miko's stream, which she set up. There are other streamers like BB Jess who will have like dance offs that you could do with other streamers. There's lots of creators out there who want to do things with smaller streamers. You just got to be on the lookout for them and you got to be, you got to be you know, there when they happen. So that's the best way to collaborate with people that are bigger than you is to try to join things that they host and to find people that want to do things with others. There may also be the chance that you want to do something with someone much, maybe a bit larger than you. There's someone who you think you could make good content with or you like them a lot and you want to do something with them or you have a good idea of something that you think they'd be a good fit for. What I'd recommend is you need to think about this from that streamer's perspective. So if you're a streamer, like a big streamer, maybe you have 50 to 100 average viewers, you're a Twitch partner, maybe you have several hundred average viewers, thinking about getting a DM from someone that's maybe my size or a small, a pretty small creator, what incentive do they have to do something with you? What is gonna be unique about what you're offering to do with them that's going to incentivize them to want to do this thing with you? Do you have a big resume of collaborating with people? Do you have some sort of like high quality stuff you can show them that you've done, something that you can show you've made really awesome content? Maybe you have connections with other really big streamers. Maybe you have 
have a huge prize support for something. You need to offer something that's not your viewership that is going to incentivize them to want to do something with you. The other thing is it's important to try to make sure you have some sort of significant relationship with this person somehow, whether it's through connections that you have or someone has recommended you to them or you've played games with them before, that will make this a lot easier. If you have no real relationship with that person, it's not going to come off as super genuine that you want to actually, uh, this is hard to explain. You really just can't cold message someone who's big and just expect them to want to do something with you. It's just realistically not going to happen. So there needs to be some sort of outstanding circumstances that it, that would navigate them to come to the conclusion that they'd want to do something with you. Something that is special about you that they can't get anywhere else. Some reason that they'd really want to do something with you. And it's also important for, the, for you to be on their radar. You don't just want to be some random person out of nowhere. You should be someone who is active in their community, maybe raids them, who has supported them. Maybe you search a subscriber to them, but you can't do any of that with the expectation that they should have to owe you or want to do something with you as a result of it. You could, of course, ask them to do something with you. And if they want to, that's great, but you can't expect that they're going to owe you because you support them, if that makes sense. I think a lot of streamers make that mistake. Just because you support someone doesn't mean they owe you anything in return for that support. That doesn't fly. You can never, you should never be expecting anything from anyone else. You should do it all authentically. And if you do this authentically, you will never expect anything from anyone. You cannot expect anything from anyone. That's going to be the biggest takeaway I should, I should give from all this. You cannot be salty if someone doesn't want to do something with you. It doesn't matter how much you supported them or shown interest in them or genuinely cared about this person. It does not matter. If they don't want to do something with you, you have to respect that. So let's show some examples of some messages I've sent to streamers or creators that are bigger than me who I've gotten to maybe do stuff with. This is when we get to advanced. This is a streamer I reached out to about participating in one of my game shows. Disclaimer, I knew this streamer through another streamer I was friends with. This streamer who I was friends with actually recommended this person's stream to me. I had rated this guy person a couple times. They knew who I was by name. I would say this person was about two to three times, maybe even more, probably like five times as big as me in terms of viewership. But I just loved this person. I thought they had an amazing stream set up. They did something really unique on their stream that I mentioned in this message. They knew who I was. I was in their streams quite a bit. I liked what they do. I still like what they do. They don't, I don't think he streams as often anymore, but I messaged this person to participate in one of our game shows. And I said the following, I had never messaged this person before outside of hanging out in their Twitch chat. Yo, been really loving your streams recently. I think the way you engage with your community is so unique and special. It has inspired me a lot. Your multi-camera setup is killer. With that being said, I'd love to extend you an invitation to compete in our channel's second ever episode of Twitch Jeopardy. This would give you the opportunity to compete against two other epic streamers, one being XXX, who is someone that this person knew for prizes, clout, and glory. I would take care of all the promotions, setup, etc., etc. All you need to do is show up and have fun. Looking forward to your response. Either way, hopefully we get the chance to collaborate soon. Easy, simple to read, gives all the important details. I complimented them. I told them what I'm doing. It's the second one I've done this before. It was successful. I let them know their friend was also participating in this, someone they know and they've hung out with before. I let them know I would take care of all the work. All you need to do is show up and have fun. There are prizes that you can win. And even even if you don't want to do this, no worries. I'm happy to do something else maybe with you in the future if you're interested. I'm really looking forward to hearing back from you. That's it. And this person already knew who I was and this person responded to me and was like, heck yeah, I'd love to do that. That would be awesome. Like that sounds really fun. That's it. That's what, that's, that's an example. All right, here's another example. This person I messaged was a Twitch partner. I messaged them because I had been following them at this point for about four or five months. I had been active in their Twitch chat for a while, rated them a few times, followed them on Twitter, would interact with a lot of their tweets. They were like a super cool dude. I really like this person a lot. This is, and I've actually reached out to several partners. Most of the time they don't usually respond when you reach out to Twitch partners, but you know, it's always worth shooting your shot, right? You never know what could happen. But I actually had a couple other messages, I think with this person maybe before, but all I said was, I kept it short and sweet. Yo dog, I know it's a long shot, but I'm putting together a streamer Mario Kart tournament. I said steamer. I, I'm putting together a streamer Mario Kart tournament and figured I would shoot you an invite, got like two spots left, and would love to get some great people like yourself in on the action. Good luck with the stream later, bro, because I knew he was streaming later that night. So I got right to the point. I told him what I was doing, streamer Mario Kart tournament, wanted to give him an invite. I wanted to let him know that I already had a lot of other people who are going to participate. I actually already had 10 people who were going to compete in it. I only had a couple spots left, but he could have one of them. So I wanted to let him know there were a lot of other people participating in it. Would love to have him. I think he's really cool. Either way, no problem. And I actually only included that because
because I think I'd already sent him a previous message to Bardos to do something else with him that he didn't respond to, but I kept this one a little bit shorter. And then I said, good luck with the stream later because I knew he was streaming later that night. And he actually responded. He actually responded and he said he was busy and that he couldn't do it that day. And I actually got back to him and said, hey, look, it's still like several weeks out. I'm, I could switch the date and try to accommodate it with you. And we kind of lost the conversation from there. It didn't really go too much where, but he did get back to me. Again, no hard feelings. I would love to try and do something with this guy again one day. He's a lot bigger than me. I still watch him occasionally. Yeah, that was me just trying to reach out to a partner. That's just a simple, simple example. And now we get to the big guns. Okay, so here's one final big example. This is actually the largest creator I have ever had the pleasure of collaborating with. This creator came into one of my Balloons Tower Defense streams and actually plugged... <laughs> Uh, and I actually plugged his own YouTube video because I was struggling with a certain boss in Balloons Tower Defense Battles. And I was like, oh, this guy just wants to promote himself, whatever. But I'll go, I'll click on his video and I'll check it out. He said he has a guide for the exact thing I was doing. I clicked on it and I watched his video, which was actually super helpful. I also realized he had like 11,000 subscribers on YouTube. He's like a big creator and he does uh, YouTube uploads daily. And I was like, holy cow, you're like really good at this game. You play it a lot. That's super cool. I'd love to DM you about doing something together sometime. He was in my Twitch chat and he said, okay, sure. Here's my Discord. And then he actually messaged Messaged me first just saying hello and I said hey this person thank you for connecting with me really happy you stopped by last night would love to learn more about you and potentially collaborate on something in the future TLDR on me I'm an up-and-coming variety twitch streamer my normal streams average around 15 concurrent viewers our special events can exceed 50 I'm trying to give some numbers so he can see that this could be good exposure for him too if he wanted to because he's not a twitch streamer he was a youtuber our community just started playing balloons together and our next big event is our balloons tournament on this date would love to get you involved in some way if you're interested it'd be happy to build on the idea or do something else separate. We then had a lovely conversation back and forth. We chatted about the details of the tournament. I made him a co-host and this person and I co-hosted this Balloons Tower Defense Tournament together and it was amazing. And this person is no other than Zigzag Power, who actually now has 157,000 subscribers on YouTube. By the way, you should definitely go follow Zigzag Power. It's really cool. So the point is anything is possible. And uh, that was one of the coolest collabs we ever did. I, I was never able to get a hold of him afterwards. He blew up a lot on YouTube and stuff after that, and rightfully so. He makes a lot of really good videos. He posts every single day. He's a very hard worker. One other bonus example I'd like to show, a Twitch partner I collaborated with, sort of, you could sort of consider this a collaboration. I went to college with another streamer friend, my IRL friend, Diggly. Diggly is friends with a few partner streamers who he has been friends IRL with for a long time, and actually invited me to hang out with him IRL and one of his friends who is also a partnered streamer, which I graciously accepted his invite, and I actually got to to be the cameraman for a day. I don't have any DMs to show you for this one. This is just kind of like a, um, you know, a real connection I made with some some people and, uh, and was able to do something cool with them. I got to be the cameraman for a partnered streamer by the name of Dinklebean. He plays like a lot of um, battle simulator games, war simulation games. And here is a picture of us all together on the train going to the Bronx Zoo. And it was really, really fun. Cool little sort of collaboration type thing we did together. It was really fun. Through your friends, you will make friends and you will meet people and you will get exposed to different people if you're doing things genuinely and authentically. You will get to do things with bigger creators as you connect with more people over time. It will just naturally happen. You can't get there right away. It won't always happen fast, but it will happen over time eventually as you do more and more collabs and you'll start to collaborate with larger people. Which is going to bring me to our final section of this video. Level four collaborations. <laughs> level four collab isn't really a level above level three. Level four is just some miscellaneous collaboration related knowledge that I didn't know which bucket to put this in. So just some general additional advice on your collaboration journey with other streamers. You could think of this as overall guidance to help you at every level. In order to do successful collabs, you kind of do need some sense of basic social skills to just help you get these opportunities. This isn't something that you just have or don't have. It's something that you kind of develop over time. And it may be something that is going to be harder for some younger people to do. As you mature, you will get better at this. Your social skills in real life situations will impact your social skills in these online relationships as well. So the better you get at making friends in person, the better you will get at making friends with people on the internet. Because at the end of the day, you're still making friends with people. It will still closely correlate with how well you can do that in person. So what I'd recommend is in your real world interactions, be social, try to make friends with people, try to learn about people, try to be genuinely interested in other people, try to be better at communicating, try to focus on improving your communication abilities, try to think about being a nice person, being genuine, being honest, being authentic, being open, being clear and concise, being just a good overall well-rounded human being will help you a lot 
in these types of collaborations. Next, be active on a variety of social platforms. The more active you are, the more often and the more opportunities you'll see to do collaborations. Be active on Discord specifically. Twitter is a really good one. You could do Facebook if you're interested in that. I don't do Facebook much anymore, but it's one that you can leverage. TikTok is a big one. Think of all the platforms we talked about and how you can use those to find opportunities to do things with other people. Engage with other people in their posts. Keep doing a lot of your own posting. We didn't talk at all about building social platforms in this. We have another video kind of related to that, how to build your, your other social platforms, but focus on making your own content. Make better content. The better content that you can make will give you a better resume from which to pull from when people want are going to look at the types of content you've created and what type of creator you are and what type of value you can offer to them. People want to work with other people who make good content. They want to work with other people who are creative, who are innovative, who are fun and have good personalities. And you can showcase all that in the content you make on your other platforms. So upload high quality stuff to YouTube, to TikTok, to Instagram or whatever you're doing, Reddit, Twitter, I don't know, Snapchat, what, what do people, OnlyFans, what are people posting on these days? Make good content and be active on those platforms so you can you can take advantage of when something pops up that you could participate in. If I wasn't actively checking in on Code Miko's Discord server, I would have never gotten to do that awesome interview with her that I did earlier this year. That was actually wild. It's crazy to me still that I was able to do that with her. Another pointer, when you go out and do these collaborations, when you're inviting people to play games with you, particularly when you're inviting people to play a game that can accommodate a lot of people, or maybe you have a tournament that has as many spots as needed. Let them know they can invite their friends. When you're inviting someone to do someone, you should make it apparent that they can also bring their friends to also play games with you. Kind of like in real life, if you're inviting a friend over to your house, you could say they could invite a couple friends with them if you're allowed to do that. I mean, it might be different in real life. I don't know what the rules are with your parents and whatnot, but hey, listen, think about this for someone like if you're going out to the bar, you invite your friend to come out with you, say, hey, bring your friends with, that's what, actually, that's what I always do when I go to the bar. When I, whenever I go to the bar in real life, I'm always like, hey, you should invite your friends to come too if you want to bring anyone else. That's how you meet new people in real life. So whenever I invite people to hang out, I always tell them to invite people. I do the same thing online when I invite people to do things like play in a tournament or play in a big lobby of people. I tell them to bring their friends and I've actually met a lot of people through people. I've met at least just as many streamers through other streamer friends as I have through going out and trying to connect with streamers myself. So I would say collaboration is a fine art and you're going to get better at it as you do it more. Start simple. Think about level one collaborating. And as you get better at doing that, move up into the levels and try to become a better collaborative content creator. Collaboration is one of the key ways that can help you grow on Twitch.television. There are, of course, many other ways that we've talked about in other videos, but it's an important growth mechanism that you can incorporate into your everyday content. And what's best about this is I've made so many friends that I get the that I have the pleasure of doing a lot of really cool things with all the time. A lot of people who I've done collabs with years ago, I still talk to. Sometimes we help each other out if we're troubleshooting things or we'll play games offline or I don't know, we just become have become friends by in the process of doing this. So another benefit is you, of course, get to make some cool friends. Don't get disappointed if you're not good at it right away, because you won't be. Trust me, it'll it'll take a little bit of practice. If you're a small streamer, focus on growing a little bit first. But once you feel comfortable and confident yourself enough to do it, start reaching out to people to do things together. It's not as hard as it looks. I promise you may get shut down sometimes. Don't let that hurt your morale, your dedication, your, your mental fortitude. You can definitely do it. You will find people who will want to do stuff with you and play games with you. This is how you can collaborate to grow your Twitch stream in 2023. If you like the video, consider subscribing. Then I have other videos that will appear here on the screen with some other streamer educational resources if you want to learn anything else. I hope you enjoyed the video.